Um, hi everyone, <laughs> my name is Harley and welcome to Transpired F on Saturdays. Um, yeah, just just FYI, this is not my, this is not a costume for Halloween. This is actually my crime fighting outfit, so just for the record. <laughs> um, anyways, my name is Harley, um, I'm kind of getting ready for a Halloween thing. <laughs> Um, so anyways, um, today's topic is progesterone versus estrogen. Um, so I know it's been a while since I've been on a film, um, on this YouTube. Um, there's a reason for it and it's definitely related to this topic actually. Um, well, my first thing was really I've been working a lot, I mean that's off the side but there's like this project I'm working on and it's due in December and there's just a push for it and I've been working a lot um, so I mean that's mainly the reason why but the first the first time I actually was away was related to um, what I'm about to tell you um, pretty much um, I got really um, down on myself and like really low like suicidal low and it was like the first time that I've ever reached that low in my life, um, I felt like like I couldn't continue. I couldn't really do anything. Um, oh great! I gotta run in the stocking. Um, but I couldn't. I couldn't like. I just. I accepted death at that point, and I've never done that. So it was like I really was about to commit and commit to it and I was really um, scared about that um, so like I think it was right after my last video that Sunday I was just really down and I just couldn't believe like I don't know it's been it's been happening for a while it's like I slowly would just triumph them down into like a pit of de uh, um, just depression and stuff and I don't know why it wasn't. I know I, I still don't know why, but we have having a hunch of what it is. Um, but that was the lowest I've ever went, and I remember waking up the next morning because, like, oh wait, but before you know, I was like really down on myself, and I was really about to do it. And I remember going on the computer and logging in, and I had an email on my YouTube account which. Um, was from someone I, I don't remember, but it was um, someone who was saying, "Oh, you, you know, you're very inspirational. Your videos and stuff." And I was like, "That actually made me feel a little bit better." And you know, it kind of pushed me away from what I was thinking a little bit. But I still was really depressed. Then the next day, I, um, you know, I woke up in the morning and got ready for work, and I started to. Um, um, go to work, dress, and it was just a weird day, it was the, it, I felt blue, which blew me, it's just like, mm, like that, and I just don't know why, and it was really bad, and I remember going to work, driving, I, I usually listen to the radio, and I remember this song was on, and it was an okay song, but it was just really irritating to listen to it. And so I turn, turned it off, and I just was driving to work, got in my cube, I got to work early, and I sat in where I sit, it's in the cube, and I just sat there for an hour and a half, staring at my screensaver. And it was to the point where, you know, I broke down because I knew I needed help. I knew, I, need, I mean, I was really still thinking about doing it, even there and it was the worst feeling ever and I ended up so I mean to wrap this story up I ended up going to the therapist I ended up going to my doctor my doctor actually told me to cut the progesterone and that's kind of why this is um, I'm talking about this because she was mentioning that you know we don't let's just assume that um, let's just see that it's very possible so hormones and I, I mentioned that it's ever since I had the new dosage that I slowly started to go down um, and she was like okay well let's try to remove the progesterone because progesterone makes you feel a little bit mellow and it could be that 
and I was like, oh shit. So starting a couple of days ago, I actually stopped it because I wanted to get my cycle done. And I stopped it and I will see how it goes, but I won't know until like two or three weeks down the road, see how I feel. Um, but that's what I want to get to. It's like progesterone is a female hormone that um, is produced in you know a cycle for the female cycle. I think it's right after ovulation or right when ovulation starts, that's when the progesterone starts hitting the, the spike. And it, it's a huge spike of how much you get, how much um, a female gets, rather than estrogen. And then after it just cuts off. So usually, what progesterone is used for for male to female transgenders are breast development and um, nipple development. And because there's some sketches saying that that's what you know that helps, and there's some doctors say no, it doesn't. You know that all you need is the estrogen and the anti-androgen. Um, um, so, you know, as far as me using it, like I used to use it for like the first 10 days. And then, you know, my doctor told me to increase it because my levels, she said, my levels showed that I needed to increase it. So I did it for 21 days and of every month. and. And ever since then, I started mellowing in, and I was like, hmm, it might be really, really related to that. So, I mean, as far as, like, knowing what development is, I mean, right now, I have an A, but it's like, mm, it's almost a fistful, so it's like getting to a B. <laughs> um, so, you know, like, if, if progesterone was a one, or if it wasn't, I mean, it's really hard to say unless I had a twin that did one opposite and the other one did the other. But um, as far as I know, is the one, um, there is a synthetic progesterone that my doctor mentioned that you know that might be better for you if we find out that this is what's really causing that depression, and that's kind of that with that. So. Um, you know, so if you're thinking about taking progesterone, um, you know, you can, there, there's like all sorts of combinations that you can use. Just, um, it's best to have a doctor with you when you're doing these hormones and stuff because they can mess around with the, the measurements and give you the right one for your body and stuff. Um, and, you know, estrogen does a good factor. You know, estrogen really is what needs to be in your system, progesterone is like that added drug that some male to female transgenders is like an option to take you know so don't feel bad if you're not taking it you know <laughs> um it actually will make you feel bitchy at sometimes like um i know like the week i drop it it's um the nine days that i don't go for don't take it for i get really irritable and bitchy and <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fun, you know, it's fun that you're experiencing that, but when you're actually going through that, it's, an, it's a different story because you start becoming a bitch to people, and, and as, of course, you get depressed, and that's kind of that's kind of that. Um, well, I don't want to go too much longer, but that's kind of the story of what's been going on, and um, I'll keep you updated with that. But. Um, I just want to thanks thank you to a lot of people who are um, you know showing attention to some of these videos and I know like I'm dressed like this and like I said I don't I, this is <laughs> this is just for Halloween <laughs> all right so anyways um, take care everyone and I'll see you later bye.